Hey guys, so for this uh, video, I'll be doing an unboxing for Dombanshin Key's new studio album, New Chapter 1, I think, The Chance of Love, that's a really long title. Um, if you don't know, or you aren't familiar with my channel, Dombanshin Key is my number one, along with Girls' Generation, so uh, I've been dying to hear new music and this was definitely not a disappointment at all uh, so i'll be reviewing uh, the packaging and uh the music and all of that um so for those who are curious how big this album is compared to a jewel case this is how big the album is so it is really big it's kind of like a magazine um sm these days they don't seem to be doing too many weird packagings so um this is probably one of their kind of newer type of packaging so um i kind of like it but kind of dislike it uh it's a mix of both the reason i like it is because it has okay i like that it's high quality photos it's like a magazine so it's like it's pretty big but again because it's a magazine this has really flimsy as you can see um just uh packaging so it could get dent as you can see the dent right here right. but so you have to take really good care of this but it has a lot of pictures so i really like it um and i just I, and there's i think there's three versions for this or two um but i like this cover so yeah i got this at a really really good price so <laughs> I was like, I'm going to go get this just now. Um, and kind of before I start, um, and maybe if, depends on whenever you're watching this video. It's, SM just released their schedule for their, for the end of the year. It doesn't seem like they're going to have a repack. And I don't know why, because they sell pretty well physically. So I don't know, I'm kind of pissed off. At the same time, like, I, I did get this, so, and I said to myself I wasn't going to get repack. I mean, I wasn't going to get regular editions, and here I am unboxing one. <sighs> okay. So, here's the front, the back, like I said, like I showed. Um, and there's a track list. So, you do get 11 songs, um, it, which is decent these days in K-pop. So, yes. Let's get to it and then there's contents um thing okay so for this concept i really really like it um i'm glad that they didn't put them in weird clothing they look really good they really do and every and they have english stuff right here um, maybe i'll read it like when i'm really bored um But the pictures are really, really <clears throat> high quality. Um, it's kind of like a high quality magazine. But I, I, I love these outfits. Like they, <clears throat> they just look um, very mature. <clears throat> Sorry if I sound weird. I kind of, I'm kind of sick. They look very mature. And it fits their age well. And I'm just really proud of them. They really overcome through like a lot of expectations in my opinion. I know they're not the most popular group in Korea anymore. But they really left a legacy. And even when they split up, I think they, they have been delivering um both as jyj and tvxq and i think uh, for me i think t i i'm more um fond of tvxq's music um well and, well they release more music anyways but yeah i, I love these photos they look really good They didn't like 
put them all crazy this time around so the only downside I would say to this is that the album is pretty expensive um, and that's why I got this um, like even without the photo card it still runs for like $18 um, I got this for a really great deal, so I was like, you know, why not? Um, and they usually are like shoots from their, um, single love line. <sighs> but yes, so I've been on a budget, so yeah, these are the advertisement. I don't have the photo card because I don't f collect photo cards. And I have like a mo like just so many photo cards for them anyway. So I could really could care less about the photo card. See, like more, more decent outfits. Like SM did a really, really good job. They were supposed to come back last year. But I think they really wanted to perfect this uh, release. And they definitely did. Um, they ha I think they picked like, the perfect songs. And at the moment, this stands as one of the best releases so far this year. Um, they experimented with a new sound, which is the Love Line song. And then the Chance of Love is that classic TV XQ um, or Don Bangshin Ki like anthem it's just that classic sound um that they have like with their chorus it's and it's one of my favorite songs this year mm. so they kind of i don't know appeal to their you know their og fans and then they release something different so maybe that um gained them um a few new fans who may not be familiar with them or maybe they didn't like their music and well their title tracks because um their title tracks have like a formula to them so and then i think they're releasing a studio album if not by the end of this year early next year in japan so um, maybe that's why they're not releasing a repack because of like schedules. Um, but then again, Super Junior took a while to release there, so I don't know. Hopefully, SM just gives them a new album. Are all these songs translated? Oh my goodness. Wow. Very unique. Because I know they had tra translation, but I don't know which for the songs too. So yes. Um, extremely solid release from um, the kings, the gods of K-pop. Let me show you. The, that's what the this looks like and that's the thing I don't like either I don't like the how it's placed but still a solid effort for packaging something different mm -hmm. so for this album um <clears throat> like I said one of the best albums this year I definitely recommend listening to it it's not like everything that's being released at the moment which I like back then k-pop was a little bit more um like, every group seemed to have, like, their own little thing going on. And it feels like there's, like, two routes for both girl groups or, or boy groups. The boy groups usually do the um, the really hip-hop thing or or then copy, like, the, the Tropical House sound. So it's, like, one of those um, for most. Um, and then for girl groups... Uh, the badass concept or the girl crush girl crush thing or the extremely cute title track that 
we're all used to. So, and I, it's not that I don't mind it. It's just like it seems like they don't see most of them don't seem to be trying that hard. Um, and the albums are been for me so far this year a little bit lackluster. And that's just me. Um, but definitely did not get disappointed from them. And maybe I'm just being biased. Who knows? Um, but I really love this. Um, Love Line is such a simplistic song. Like, it's probably one of the most simplistic K-pop songs I've heard in a really long time. Like, and that's like taking away ballads because ballads are, you know, very simplistic. But this is like a pop song. And it's like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Like, how do you describe that genre? Like, I don't even... It's just a weird song. But it's really, like... I don't know, it's so unique that I like it a lot. And then The Chance of Love, like I said, really great. And the other songs are just kind of like your classic TVXQ B-sides. So, um, but again, with an updated kind of twist to them. Um, definitely recommend listening to it. I don't know what else to say about it. It's like I really enjoyed it. I, I listened to this um, from beginning to end uh, for couple of weeks um but i you know try to listen to new other albums but so far this definitely took the cake for me um and then as for my collection stuff for don bang jin ki uh, let's see i did i did get some jyj uh the jyj single uh which was something i was missing for um just them as five um, and then I'm not necessarily missing anything that's a big deal. Um, I usually kind of wait a little bit for the Japanese releases so I could get them at cheaper prices because they go for a lot of money. So, um, uh, and again, I don't think I'll be getting the all the singles that they were going to release in Japan uh, but definitely the albums I want to keep up with. So, um, yeah, if they release a new studio album, I'll probably wait a year, um, to get it. Um, and yeah, so far I've kind of been pretty good with like not buying just stuff that doesn't do anything. Like I don't, I try not to buy like, DVDs and stuff like that anymore, but yeah, I'm really happy. And then one thing I really want from them, um, and I hope I hope SM that um, really, you know, gives them a chance to do kind of like an actual solo album that is easily accessible for everybody because <laughs> they have like these exclusive albums in Japan. From Yunho has his, and then Changmin has his as well. Um, uh, but they've been doing um, solo tracks for um, a lot of their past, re past releases. Like, they have, like, a solo song. And I like that. But I want them to have, like, an actual solo. And that they have a lot of control. And, and they they get to pick the concept and the sound for the album. And, yeah. That's what I really, really want from them. Because they have done everything under the sun like they've done everything so i i i want them to have a solo project um where they can express themselves um musically and kind of showcase more of their individual personalities um through their music and their musical taste cuz they have a specific sound as TVXU and i i'm sure they they have like a good say of what they can release and all of that but Whenever there's solo projects, especially for SM, you can really tell that um, at least the the artist had some input into it, uh, and I want that to happen for for the, for them because right now in SM, they they're top tier. Like I feel like they they do get a lot of say on when they want to come back and do all of that um, because they do generate a lot of money and they're just two members. So um, and that's like a Think the same thing for for Taeyeon from Girls Generation. So, um, that's the the only thing I'm kind of 
you know, wanting from them. Um, and obviously an album per year um, is like what I want. But, you know, whatever they decide, because they have so many albums. So, yeah, I'm just really happy that they've really kept up with their word with coming back and releasing something and they didn't take like a really really long time which is what happens and people forget but yeah and then at least in japan like they're never gonna like die down because they have a really loyal fan base mm, but yeah uh thank you guys for watching if you have any other questions please comment down below um and yes who knows maybe they'll do a repack i don't know by like in december but i highly really highly doubt it because it seems like it was like a legit um, schedule plan comebacks because like the year is almost over, which is kind of crazy to say. Anyways, guys, thank you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, I hope everyone has a great day and a great week. Um, yeah, school starting soon, so I don't know if I'll be uploading that many videos. Um, but yeah, bye.